Okay, so then I am back again here and ready to control teacup some more. <laughs> I want to see more of Susan's burnt face. Hey there, gorgeous. What is up with my him? old lady brought the bleach again. What a shame. I really liked your eyes. It could have been a start of something. Uh, very exciting for us, if you know what I mean. <laughs> she does that every single time. What do they call it? Trust issues, <laughs> that's it. Oh. Well, never mind. Plenty more fish in the sea. I I'm not too fussy, but even I have some standards. Ain't gonna touch a bird like you, I gotta be honest, girl. You look like shit. Oh. <laughs> but I wouldn't want you to think I'm not a kind man. Uh, uh, plenty of time until dinner, and you're in pain, so... I've brought something to end your suffering. Think of it as an option. I've got this gun here. It's one of my favourites. There's just one bullet in the chamber. Large calibre. You'd you be long dead before you'd feel any pain. Sounds good, doesn't it? I mean, it's, ju it's just an idea, you know. No pressure. OK. Ah, of course. You can't see it. That bleach turns your eyes to nothing but jelly. Well, that won't work. So I'll just leave it for you here. Feel free to use it. That, that bullet's meant for you anyway. I'd better go now. We won't want to get caught red-handed again, would we? You naughty minx. Red. You are a strange person. Well, that what bullet that? will go to you. You can't reach it. Well, what did you expect? Life's a real fucker sometimes. And back to teacup. What's that red thing down there? Can I get down to it? No, nope, only here. And that's not interesting. Where? Oh, it's a key. Swallow. Oh. Sneaky. Or just out here. No. Sneaky sneaky. Hmm. What? I need to be sneaky sneaky. Is. I was sneaky sneaky. Back to Susan. Um, he spit out. What? Who's this? Teacup. My eyes. I can't. I can't see a thing. That bitch. A key. Who are you? Say something. 
anything. Meow? I... I should be able to unlock the handcuffs now. Oh, take the gun. No! No, no, no! I dropped it! Where is it? Where the hell is it? Hmm. Search. I've got it. Gun, shoot yourself! I'm sorry, Mitzi. I have to break my promise. What promise? He went out with a bang. You are dead. Indeed. What? And Death is nothing at all. You have only slipped away into the next room. I am I you are you Hope you don't mind creepy posters. What? It's your room. You can do what you like with it. Oh. <laughs> but I definitely prefer this to fairies, rainbows and pink unicorns. Did you make these? No. My boyfriend made them. Some of them, anyway. Oh. So, Miss Ashworth, I happen to have a bottle of wine in my bag. I was going to leave it to Robert, but I forgot all about it. Robert? The guy with the rats? Oh, yes. Of course. So, shall we have a drink, then? We could get to know each other a bit more. I know, I promise I won't get in the way. And, I mean... You don't have to if you don't feel like it. But since we're going to live together for a little while, it won't hurt if we talk to each other, will it? Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Great! I'll bring the wine. Oh, damn. It's one of those bottles with a cork. I have a cork Have you got a bottle opener, Miss Ashworth? In the kitchen. I'll go get it, shall I? Yes, please. And while you're there, could you get a couple of glasses too? Not so sure about that. I haven't seen any glasses in the kitchen. Uh, no, not open. Enter. That was the bathroom, not the kitchen. I saw the toilet and felt like entering. <laughs> Open. Take the, sco the corkscrew. But I don't think I have any glasses. Probably not in the fridge. Nope. No glasses. There they are, in the cabinet. One for me, one for me, J. Oh, spare bedroom, enter. I have the required items. Have you found that corkscrew yet? We also need some wine glasses. Oh, I have to use them. You. There you go. Let's get that bottle open. Yeah, but we'll need glasses too. See if you can find some. Wine glasses. I found some wine glasses. All right. That's all we need. Oh, Miss Ashworth, I really must say this before we start. Yeah. I promise I won't cut your throat when you're asleep. I Very don't trust you. Funny. 
I mean it. That's fine. But just so you know, I always sleep with my eyes open. Sure you do. I look at the scarecrow. So, the big C, what to talk about? What? Oh, cancer. <laughs> so, the big C, want to talk about it? Well, to be honest, I didn't really want to tell you about it like that. I put you in a very difficult position, I know. It's just that I was really desperate to get this room. I hope you can understand. This is the last and most important thing I must do before my time is up. It's fine. You seem all right. It's just... I find it hard to trust people these days. Maybe it's time I opened my eyes to see others have problems too. Some, like yourself, even bigger than mine. What kind of cancer is it? Do you mind me asking? Cancer in the left foot. Oh. Her name is Glioblastoma. Huh. Yep, they're all girls, the way I imagine it. Just look at their names. Lymphoma, melanoma, myeloma, leukemia, sarcoma. Each of them a fucking goddess of death. Beautiful and ruthless. Hmm, you might just be right about that, Mitzi. I used to be a nurse. I know a few things about cancer. And I know glioblastoma. She's a real bitch. Yeah, and yet she gets to be the prom queen before night ends while I disappear down the back exit. How long? They said I had a year. But that was six months ago, so... Yeah. Not awfully long. Is there anything... They've tried. I'm sorry. Yeah. So am I. Do you want to talk about something else? No, oh, it's not raining anymore. Oh, Changing it's not raining anymore. <laughs> oh, well. I don't mind rain. Sometimes I even like it. But according to weather forecast, there's a nasty fog coming. Now that I'm actually scared of. I got lost in a fog once. When I was just nine or ten. I remember I sat under a tree crying, thinking some monster would appear right in front of me and drag me away. But now that you're a big girl, you know there are no monsters. Yeah? How do you know? 